I believe I said F off. And your nephew was going to be on the group.
Let her go. Let her go. She's the best. She was showing, showing up before the game. She's the best. Let her go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when she shows up before the game, you know, it's over, you know, right? She's had like 10 <laughs> darts before she gets there and does the anthem, too. Uh, Gordon Stelic, uh, host for Hockey Nation right here on SportsCenter. Bob Knight, the fan NHL analyst on SportsCenter, joins us. Um, Ducks, Hawks, now both up to nothing. I think it's an inevitable thing that we're going to see both of these teams in the Western Conference Final. No disrespect to uh, the Wild or the Flames, but um, that's got me looking forward to Western Conference hockey. I, I tell you, those two teams are on a roll. And, and, and you know, I give the Calgary Flames credit that after Anaheim dominated the first period last night, I thought Calgary really responded the second, but it just showed they weren't able to make anything happen. And, and the Anaheim Ducks this year just are a different kettle of fish. They've got four lines going, they've got size, they've got skill, they, they're getting goaltending, they got everything. And you, you know, I, I agree with you, it's got to be you know frustrating for these teams that are down, oh, and, you know, down in the series. And I, and I don't really see you know them coming back. Uh, I, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about it whether it's a Calgary Calgary comparable or a, especially a Montreal comparable because they lost the first two games on all ice in Montreal's case. But, you know, four years ago, Peter Shirelli just getting fired now the last few weeks. You remember Boston lost two games in Montreal in the playoffs and, and looked down and out and came back, won it, won the Stanley Cup, and Shirelli had four more years as the GM of the Boston Bruins. And, you know, that's what it's going to take to me for some of these underdog teams. But that doesn't happen very often. I, I, I think the dominant teams are going to, uh, you know, are, are going to ride it to the next round. And, and that'll be great for us as, 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 as viewers that the best teams get there. Gord, we got the Rangers and Caps game 3 at uh, 7.30 on the CBC tonight. Uh, we were all assuming maybe that the Rangers would have a, a maybe not the most difficult time, but they should be heavily favored in that series against the Capitals, but the, the, after the first few games in New York, could Washington really do this and pull this off, especially the way that monster Alex Ovechkin is playing? Well, you know, you, you look at Bruce Boudreau in Anaheim and having that first series be a sweep, and he, he looks back to his Washington days, that it was always difficult. When the playoffs get going, it was always a chore. It was always a disappointment. They never had that easy playoff series, but you never had all that.